This is another video by Florida Crafter. Hey everybody, I just wanted to share a quick um, project date this weekend. Uh, anybody who knows me or has watched any of my videos knows that I absolutely love to use wallpaper samples in my projects. Um, I think it's one of the best and certainly the cheapest way to get some wonderful um, looks together that, you know, I'm not particularly an artist myself. I can put things together, but I can't create them on my own. So this is a really great way to leverage what you have and turn something into that makes you look like you're an artist, even if you're not. Anyway, wallpaper books. I have a beach themed um, project I was doing. I have two pine, really plain, ugly, kind of that yellow, gross um, nightstands that go in our guest room. And I have a guest room that we call our scuba room because we keep our scuba equipment in it, but it is also one of these like super kitsch over the top, you know, guest rooms that has really everything Florida in it. Um, anyway, so I took out things that things that would be Florida themed, beach, sea, underwater, whatever. And um, this is kind of some of the things that I didn't use, but you can see from just this assortment how many how many wonderful things I could come up with just out of a few wallpaper books. So. Picked the ones that I liked and then cut them out. And of course it does take time. So that's probably the most time consuming thing of the project. But once I did, here's what I ended up with. So um, this is the front of it, obviously. I painted it white and then used that light blue color um, all over it. And then put some stripes of a darker blue over it because I wanted to give it kind of that um, water. You know, obviously look like it's underwater. And and then I just decoupaged the little creatures on the front. Um, I'm sorry, obviously I sanded it down first to give it the distressed look and that's how the white came through. And then, um, and then I decoupaged my little guys on there. So. so this is one side and this side's facing the bed so I tried to keep it pretty simple. There's not really any point in making it too over the top. And this is the other side, and this is the one that you see primarily when you walk in the bedroom door, and my dog's trying to sniff it while I'm filming. But, um, okay, I just, I'm sure you love it. Go away. Anyway, this is the uh, super over-the-top kitsch uh, Floridian view. And um, I really loved those flamingos. I had to have those in there, so. And then I'm back to the front again, and I just wanted to show you really quickly um, how I put these. I replaced the handles of the drawers with these cute little um, turtles. I had these, I, I don't know why I had these ceramic turtles. I think my husband and I both, um, you know, were, are one of our things that we give money to is the sea turtles, because we live in a sea turtle wildlife refuge. Um, and I think those came from one of the fundraisers or something. But anyway, I had the, these and no, obviously nothing to do with them. So I took a nut that fit the, the bolt that was on there from the original handles and shoved it into, or pushed, pressed it into a cylinder of clay and then put a hole in it so that it matched up with the, the hole of the nut um, and spaced it just the right amount so that it would be a good handle. And then um, baked it and then once it was hard it was like a, I used Sculpty or something, that was the clay. And it worked perfectly. Um, so the so the actual nut is baked into the clay handle, and then I epoxied the little guys right onto the top of that, and so it made perfect little handles. And I love the fact that it added this 3D element to my um, little decoupage scene. Anyway, that is um, that is it. Um, it's a little scary that it really will fit right in with the rest of the room, but you know. When you live in Florida, you love people to come visit for a couple of days, but you don't want them to stay more than a couple of days. So anything to keep them uh, not too comfortable in the guest room, this will work fine. So anyway, I'd love to hear what you think. And if you use wallpaper samples for some of your projects, and especially if you do it with decoupage, I'd love to see what you do. Please share your projects and uh, leave any questions or feedback below. Thank you.